John, I think the um, Sri Lankan government are far too clever uh, to allow anyone to do anything like that. They've been uh, operating these systems of self-protection now for many decades, and I just think it's too dangerous, sadly. I would say that uh, I can't speak for what's happening for, with Tamils on the inside, within Sri Lanka, but uh, it'll be pretty grim. And uh, this, this is not the stage where, where people will be organising politically, I would say. Um, people are, are just trying to survive at the moment. So that's why the, uh, what happens outside of Sri Lanka is so important, uh, that the Tamil communities outside of Sri Lanka come together and uh, apply pressure through uh, the means that uh, John Dowd outlined and um, uh, through organisations in Australia that are sympathetic to, to that so that the, the collective leverage is, is increased. I mean, the main thing is to get some leverage at this stage and that requires some lateral thinking. Uh, it requires all sorts of different skills to be brought to bear so that, um, so that the base from which uh, people are coming from can be, can be enlarged. And uh, once you enlarge your base, then you, get a, 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 a bigger, uh, you have a bigger voice and you'll be heard more, um, more readily in Canberra. The same with journalists uh, and so on. They like to think that the people that they're interviewing are speaking uh, and representing a, a large group of, uh, of people. So that's a matter of organising. Uh, the AMA came out, I think, pretty much on its own. There's a lot of groups here that can be, can be linked in with... I don't know, what's ACFOA called these days? Uh, ACFID. Well, they would have Australian done. Council for in International Aid or yeah. Development. So it's a matter of linking in. That's a peak organisation for all the NGOs in Australia. Um, link in with these organisations, the, the need is to link in with these organisations and, and form some sort of umbrella organisation that can then uh, put the case uh, convincingly and with some strength to uh, both federal and state government. But it needs to be done, as I said earlier, quite quickly uh, because as we speak, uh, people are, are, are dying and people are being tortured. I mean, I can think up uh, ways of, of, of quickly mobilising and getting messages out there, uh, but I'm sure people here can as well. Um, so that's, uh, that's the challenge uh, over the next few weeks, I would, I would say, for Tamil communities uh, overseas. But when we're talking about the Tamil community in Australia. That's the big challenge, to link in with other like-minded um, and church professional I mean, a lot of uh, people here are professionals. They belong to professional organisations, whether they're engineers, whether they're accountants, whether they're lawyers, whether they're doctors. OK, now's the time to engage those professional organisations on their behalf and link in through, say, ACFID and, and, and others and local politicians and, and, and so on. It's, uh, it's, it's going to require quite a concerted effort. Yep, thanks. Well, the reason would be that, um, as I said earlier on, it's the image that, um, that the Department of Foreign Affairs has and, and has um, uh, gone along with for some considerable period of time, and that would have been put to uh, Stephen Smith, who had no experience in foreign affairs before, and foreign affairs issues before he became minister. Also, Stephen Smith's a very cautious man, and therefore he would be worried as to how this would be received by the, uh, the Prime Minister. Um, I mean, we know that uh, Kevin Rudd's made certain statements in recent times concerning people smugglers and that whole trade uh, with refugees, and that didn't augur well at all. It showed an ignorance uh, and a lack of compassion that, uh, that's quite frightening. Um, it's an educative thing that the Tamil community is now engaging upon, and it's also a networking thing that you're now engaging upon, which is, as I said just a minute ago, to engage the attention of other peak organisations in this country in a positive way and put a positive message uh, through to government and media and every other organisation of influence that you can think of. Stephen Smith's just another man, and he's essentially a good man. Therefore, uh, the thing is to appeal to the better side of his or any other politician's nature. But I, can, I, I know what's going on inside the Department of Foreign Affairs, and it hasn't been at all 
uh, it hasn't been at all good for Tamils. In fact, when I was on the Refugee Review Tribunal, we could not use the reports uh, that, it, that came out from uh, the, our embassy, our high commission in Sri Lanka. And I'd been there the year before I joined the RRT and the stuff that came out. In fact, I lost my job in foreign affairs because the High Commissioner went on leave and I reported the situation as I saw it and Canberra couldn't believe after 20 years that, uh, that my report would be correct and all those other reports incorrect. But basically I said that the Sri Lankan government was bankrupt and that this was the situation uh, pertaining to Tamils and this is the level of corruption and, and lack of press freedom and all the rest of it that was going on in Sri Lanka in 1994 and the Department of Foreign Affairs in Australia couldn't believe it. And they sent over a kangaroo court and, uh, and, they, and, and I got um, eventually left the department. I said, I've had enough. Because there are other issues of, 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 local, of corruption within the embassy as well. So that's what you're fighting, and, 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 but I think it's eminently, eminently able to do it because the, the, the Tamils now have the moral high ground and as each day goes by, tragically, that, that moral high ground, the base of that moral high ground increases. So whether it's George Pell or whether it's um, just engage and engage uh, reasonably and, uh, and, and with dignity and with respect. I mean, of course you'll do that, but I just say that that's the way you're going to get through to people in Australia, the other part of the community. It's, it is important to emphasise the conservatism of the sort of advice that a minister is given. I agree that Stephen Smith is a compassionate person, but everyone would have said, you can't do anything that appears to help the LTTE. That's why attempts to get through to them uh, would have failed. And at this stage, unless this community, this group, can get out there and educate the public and educate government that it doesn't matter what happened before or who committed crimes or who didn't. We've got to draw a line at the cessation of hostilities to make sure that we look at what are the facts now that need to be looked at. Massive humanitarian needs, massive further war crimes unless Australia speaks up. So it's those well-meaning but cautious civil servants that are the enemy, and I agree with Bruce, we should appeal to the parliamentarians, unlovable in some ways, but most of them have got hearts. If a relative of a deceased New South Welsh person reports that death to the coroner and there has not been any other proper examination the coroner will, with considerable reluctance, may be ultimately forced to do it. In this case, we had a sympathetic Attorney-General, uh, Bob Devis, who in fact encouraged Legal Aid Commission to provide funds for it. Uh, and it, of course, took all those years, but eventually it happened. So there is jurisdiction, reporting, relative, death, no other examination. Um, but the cost and uh, discretion involved in getting people to a government to fund that sort of thing, you'll need a very sympathetic minister. There are a few um, ideas floating around in an organisation that looks into justice for Tamils is in its very early stages. And um, if, uh, if people who registered here today... Um, left their details out the front, they will be contacted. Um, we have several non-Tamil, non-Sri Lankan Australians who have been very compassionate and who have shown support. And so there, there are discussions taking place um, and uh, an, uh, such an organisation will, will be up and coming and I, I will let you know if, 